we are going to learn how to find percentage of a number to learn that we first need to revise two things percent and equivalent fractions let's revise quickly what is a percent mean percent means out of 100 so when you take some parts out of 100 parts that is called as a percentage what are equivalent fractions equivalent fractions are those fractions that have the same value and the test for equivalent fractions is that their cross products are equal let's take a look at an example 1 over 2 and 2 over 4 so the cross product means the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the second fraction that's what we multiply so 1 multiplied by 4 1 4 is 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 2 2 is 4 that means 1 over 2 and 2 over 4 are equivalent fractions let's take one more example 4 over 10 and 2 over 5 so 4 5 is 20 and 10 2 is 20 so 20 is equal to 20 that means 4 over 10 and 2 over 5 are equivalent fractions now let's solve some examples and see how we can apply these two concepts concepts of percentage and equivalent fractions to solve the problems now the first question is find the percent for 24 of 40 so when it says 24 of 40 that means 24 out of 40 so suppose in some exam I got 24 marks out of 40 marks what is the percentage of my marks that means 24 out of 40 is equal to how much out of 100 percentage is always out of 100 so let's write this in terms of fractions 24 over 40 is equal to what over 100 that what would give us the percentage let's do the cross product 24 multiplied by 100 is equal to what multiplied by 40 so my answer is going to be 24 multiplied by 100 divided by 40 since this is an equation we do the same operation on both the sides so we should divide both the sides by 40 that's why my answer will be 24 multiplied by 100 divided by 40 so we'll cancel zeros from 40 and 100 now we know that 24 is divisible by 4 so 4 ones are 4 and 4 6 are 24 so 6 tens are 60 my answer is going to be 60 that means 24 of 40 is equal to 60 percent what it means is that if I scored 24 marks out of 40 that means I scored 60 marks out of 100 it is equivalent to scoring 60 marks out of 100 and 60 out of 100 means 60 percent so 24 of 40 is equal to 60 percent let's take a look at one more example exactly like this find the percent of 15 of 75 that means if I have 15 out of 75 what is my percent that means it is equivalent to what out of 100 let's write that in terms of fractions 15 over 75 is equal to what over 100 let's use the cross product 15 multiplied by 100 is equal to what multiplied by 75 let's divide both the sides of the equation by 75 so that we get 15 multiplied by 100 divided by 75 once we solve this that is going to be our answer so 15 ones are 15 15 fives are 75 we know that 100 is divisible by 5 20 fives are 100 20 multiplied by 1 is equal to 20 so our answer is 20 that means 15 of 75 is equal to 20 percent or I can say 
15 of 75 is equivalent to 20 out of 100. 20 out of 100 is 20 percent. Now this says find 30 percent of 50. Now we know it is 30 percent. That means 30 out of 100. So it's saying that 30 out of 100 is equivalent to what out of 50? In terms of fractions, 30 over 100 is equal to what over 50? Let's use the cross product. 30 multiplied by 50 is equal to what multiplied by 100? Now let's divide both the sides of the equation by 100. That means our answer is going to be 30 multiplied by 50 divided by 100. Now we cancel two zeros from the numerator and two from the denominator. So 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. Our answer is going to be 15. 30% of 50 is equal to 15. What it means is 30% is equal to 15 out of 50 or 30 out of 100 is equivalent to 15 out of 50. Let's take a look at one more example exactly like the previous one. Find 70% of 300. 70% that means 70 out of 100. So 70 out of 100 is equivalent to what out of 300? In terms of fractions, 70 over 100 is equal to what over 300? The cross product gives us 70 multiplied by 300 is equal to what multiplied by 100? Now to solve this equation, let's divide both the sides by 100. 70 multiplied by 300 divided by 100. Once we solve this, we are going to get our answer. We know that 3 times 100 is equal to 300. So let's cancel 100 and 300. That means 70 multiplied by 3 is our answer. 7 3s are 21. So 70 3s are 210. So 70% of 300 is equal to 210. That means 210 out of 300 is equal to 70 out of 100. 70 out of 100 is 70%. Let's look at another example. This is of different type. 40% of what is 8? Let me rephrase it. Let me say that 8 is 40% of some number. Now what is that number? 40% means out of 100, 40 are selected. So 40 out of 100 is equivalent to 8 out of what? In terms of fractions, it would be 40 over 100 is equal to 8 over what? The cross product gives us 8 multiplied by 100 is equal to what multiplied by 40. To solve the equation, we divide both the sides by 40. That means that number is equal to 8 multiplied by 100 divided by 40. Now 8 ones are 8 and 8 fives are 40. 100 is divisible by 5, 20 fives are 100. So the answer is 20. That means 40% of 20 is 8. What it means is 40% is equal to 8 out of 20 or 40 out of 100 is equivalent to 8 out of 20. That means in a test, if I score 8 marks out of 20, I scored 40%. Let's check one more example exactly like the previous one. 18% of what is 27? Let's rephrase it. 27 is 18% of some number. What is that number? 18% means 18 out of 100. So 18 out of 100 
is equal to 27 out of what? In terms of fractions, 18 over 100 is equal to 27 over what? The cross product gives us 27 multiplied by 100 is equal to what multiplied by 18? Now let's divide both the sides of the equation by 18. So that number, the number that we are looking for is equal to 27 multiplied by 100 divided by 18. 9 twos are 18 and 9 threes are 27. Now 100 is divisible by 2. 50 twos are 100. So the answer is going to be 50 multiplied by 3. 5 threes are 15. So 50 threes are 150. That means 18% of 150 is 27. That means Scoring 27 out of 150 is equal to scoring 18% or is equal to scoring 18 out of 100. So looking at all these examples, now you can see, if you know two concepts well, that is the concept of percentage and the concept of equivalent fractions, you can solve all the kinds of problems for percentage of a number.